Hi, Good morning. This is uh, Tommy, AKA Nana, coming at you from beautiful Cape Cod um, on the first day of October. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about my breakfast on um, the autoimmune pro protocol as well as um, uh, Brightline eating. I'm um, a little bit about me. I'm a 63 year old woman on a journey of well being. Um, and, uh, I follow Brightline Eating. I'm not officially affiliated with Brightline Eating. I'm just someone using that program, um, for my health and well-being. And I'm also on a probably, uh, five to six week autoimmune protocol diet, um, to help to clear up after losing 114 pounds to find out, uh, if maybe uh, my joint achiness and muscle achiness has something to do with uh, the foods I'm consuming. So I'm eating a very strict um, autoimmune protocol. Um, if you're enjoying what I have, uh, my content, I, I ask you to um, hit the subscribe, um, the like button, um, share it, uh, post a comment. I'd love to hear from you, um, especially if you have ideas on things you'd like to see me uh, make videos about. Um, on the autoimmune protocol, breakfast is definitely a challenge. And uh, this morning, I did something a little bit different. I, um, because on the autoimmune protocol, there's no beans, no eggs, no dairy, no uh, nuts, no seeds, no grains. So all of those are what I usually consume for breakfast. So it's been a lot of sweet potatoes and sausage um, that fits into the Brightline Eating protocol as well too. So um, I have my grain right here a sweet potato, what I did was I, I cooked the sweet potatoes, I cut them into rounds, and I used them as like little um, toast points um, for the smoked salmon, which I topped with a coconut yogurt. Um, it's called Coco Yo. Oh, I should have gotten it. I'm gonna get up and get it, so you'll get a little view of the outside of my house, of the side of my house, and I will show you this um, amazing yogurt. I actually, um, have made my own coconut yogurt, but this is Coco Yo. I, it was very hard for me to find out here. There was one grocery store. Um, it's made by GT's, GTS, um, same company that makes, um, kombucha. And, uh, I did find it. It's very expensive. This was like over seven dollars for a little eight ounce container but it is incredible and delicious and um, coconut yogurt is also on the expensive side to make um, so I, I can make uh, more than this for less than this so I can make twice as much for less money so um, but the last time I made the yogurt it didn't come out so good and this is really a treat um, so I did get this. And so I'm using that. Uh, it's a plain coconut yogurt on top. And I sprinkled a little bit of uh, dill on it. And uh, this is part of my breakfast. The other part of my breakfast is, um, <laughs> it's a, this is a mistake that I made in a sense. Um, it's a, um, a pudding, uh, basically a gelatin. So it's made uh, with coconut milk, um, uh, fruit. I've also made it with banana and pumpkin, a pumpkin spice one, but this one is a mango. And while I was doing the mango, I threw in some pineapple, which I remembered in the middle of the night last night, why it didn't gel very well. It's um, much soupier than the last one I made. Um, because pineapple undoes gelatin. <laughs> I remembered that from my basic foods course, you know, and cooking courses that I took back in junior high and high school. Um, 
so uh, so don't put p fresh pineapple into anything you're trying to make gelatin out of um, but th this is made um, I actually blended which is not very BLE but I figure I'm still chewing it because it becomes gelatin and I put fruit in it as well too so um, it was banana mangoes and pineapple which I don't recommend you do gelatin some collagen and coconut milk um, and then I have some more coconut yogurt on it as well as some bananas and some blueberries in it um, and so that mixes it up because I was really um, getting tired doing BLE and um, uh, uh, AIP uh, so bright line eating and autoimmune protocol eating sausage and um, sweet potatoes every day even though I made turkey sausage beef sausage and pork sausage this gives me a little swap it up with um, with my yummy smoked um, salmon and um, on my little sweet potato rounds so I'm gonna taste this for the first time and see how it is These are the purple sweet potatoes. So they're not quite the same as the, they're, they're a little stiffer. So it's actually very good. I couldn't imagine what I was gonna eat the smoked salmon because I always eat smoked salmon on something. Hmm. I like that. Um, so that's my breakfast for today. Um, I also, uh, made my turmeric tonic. I don't, yeah, there you can see it, which, um, I'm, I've gotten to making, uh, fairly large batches that get me through the week of this because, um, I think it's really good for you, good in healing. And um, I sip it as I'm making my breakfast, and I just think it's it's good for my gut. Um, another thing that I think is really important for autoimmune protocol as well as bright line eating is um, just and your overall well being. Forget whether you're doing this if you're doing any kind of program trying to just increase your your uh, how you feel your well-being um, is I've been getting a lot a plenty of sleep which I know is a challenge when you have a super busy life but I think you know dedicating a week or two weeks or a month to just focusing on getting good sleep is gonna pay you a world of dividends in the sense that um, you just feel well rested I feel stronger I feel more energized. Um, I just feel so much better um, getting a good amount of sleep. So uh, uh, let me tell you some of the things that I've been doing because I listen to everyone who gives advice about sleep. Um, I always use a mask when I go to sleep. Um, I I do end up taking um, some sort of sleep aids, whether it's um, melatonin or I, I take a prescription um, called Trazodone, which uh, just helps me to fall asleep and helps me to stay asleep, but never leaves me groggy or unable to feel like I couldn't function or do anything. Um, and. I still have to do a lot of sleep hygiene to be able to sleep when I take these things. So if I, if I, I take one and I watch a uh, exciting television program that, you know, has lots of action in it and everything, I'm still not going to be able to fall asleep. So, um, I, I just recently got, um, let me show you, um, some blue blockers, um, 
which I got clip-ons to go on my glasses. So, um, and basically as it becomes evening, now let me see if I can get these on. I, um, I put, clip these onto my existing glasses because this was, I think $14 for two clip-ons and getting glasses with prescription was going to be at least $250. So at least this way I can see whether or not I think that it's working. And, um, I can put a link to these. I got these at Amazon. They came in a couple of days and I got two pairs. So, um, uh, I, I just started using those. Um, and I use them in the evening, uh, to look at my phone, to watch television, to do anything that has the blue light in it. Um, and you know, I just keep them on in the evening for the most part. Um, I also, um, took a hot bath last night, which was a great thing to relax me. Um, obviously not too hot and not like right before you're going to go to sleep, but you know, within a couple of hours, um, I sometimes sip, um, some, some teas. One of these is a Thrive Market, um, calming tea. Another one is by Celestial Seasonings called Sleep Well. Um, just chamomile tea. Um, of course not too much because then I have to get up to go to the bathroom, but, um, I sip a nice tea. I, um, try not to do anything too exciting. I don't, you know, want to engage in, in phone calls that might be, you know, revving of my metabolism. I, um, I make sure I'm as warm as possible that I, um, uh, have socks on. I just, uh, just start thinking about going to bed at least a couple of hours. I mean, soon after dinner. And, um, I, I sometimes try to have a white noise on in my room, whether that's a fan or, um, something. I, um, you know, I really make sure I try to empty my bladder as much as possible before I go to bed. Um, and then I get in bed, uh, and have kind of a routine. Uh, I have a, a five-year journal. I write in my five-year journal and, um, and then sometimes read something, uh, just, you know, have as much of a routine uh, for calming and going to sleep as possible. Um, sometimes I do some breathing exercises. Um, because my husband is sleeping in the room, I, I really would love to listen to uh, a, a sleeping meditation, but he's usually already asleep, so that would wake him up, so I don't do that. But there are Insight Timer and lots of places offer those. Um, so those are some of the things that I do to help me sleep. Um, the other thing is in the morning, the first thing in the morning, my room, I flood myself with as much light as possible, which isn't possible on every day, but, um, I, my room has a whole wall of windows. And so just to open up the shades. So as soon as possible, when I've woken up, I open up those shades and let the sun in and let the sun surround me. Um, it's good to get outside and walk as well too in the sunshine and that all helps to set your circadian rhythm good. So um, if anybody has any other ideas that they use for sleep, I'm always welcome, uh, welcome hearing other ideas. So please put those in the comments and we can share those. And uh, I wish you a beautiful bright day and a good night's sleep.